All right, with that, we bring in former Green Beret Joe Kent. Uh, Joe, you've been following at least some of this stuff on the ground, and a lot of what it seems as though we've been seeing sort of change the tide of the war is these Ukrainian soldiers that somehow over the past eight years have ended up with some pretty amazing skills. How much of that was U.S. training? I mean, it's hard to say how much that was actually U.S. training. I think it's easy to see on the ground um, the effects of the Javelin missile systems and some of the other lethal aid that we've given them. Obviously, there's a training component that comes along with that. Um, but it looks like the Ukrainians have uh, developed a fairly decent unconventional or guerrilla warfare capability. That's uh, that's what the Green Berets are able to to develop. That's our bread and butter. So there's there's probably some degree of uh, some Green Beret guerrilla training there. There. New reporting from Politico just in the past couple of hours that there are U.S. troops in Poland training Ukrainian troops. Take us through what the difference is and what U.S. troops training these foreign armies looks like. Well, yeah, I mean, it could be everything from training their conventional military. There's the um, U.S. Army uh, Security Forces Assistance Brigades that do that. They train conventional forces. And then you, you would have probably your special operators, your Green Berets, training the uh, Ukrainians on a lot of the guerrilla warfare tactics like you were talking about in your last segment, um, that type of thing. I mean, really, the, I think one of the key issues is that you have – this is a, a pretty drastic escalation. I mean, Putin – and the rest of the uh, the Russian military, they know that we're providing lethal aid. That's obviously in the open. And we also have troops sitting right there on the border that Biden said he potentially could order into uh, Ukraine. I know that this, that statement was walked back, but I mean, I, I think we have to be very clear right now with the American people about what's at risk. The fact that we're essentially conducting warlike activities without any authorization of war. I think this is, I mean, very dangerous and uh, well, very. Hold on, Joe. Uh, you, 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 uh, hold hold on, fact. Joe. You, you call them warlike yeah. activities. I, I would imagine that when you were a Green Beret, you were training lots of foreign armies that were involved in in other potential conflicts. That wasn't warlike. Uh, when I was in, we were conducting the global war on terror. So uh, I was training people that we were at. I was training people to fight folks that we were at war with. Sometimes we will go into countries. Um, that we have a security forces agreement with. However, training Ukrainian partisans to go in and kill Russians, I don't think there's a lot of gray area there. Um, we are directly sending people that are going and fighting Russians and escalating this conflict even further without a war declaration or any kind of authorization so, so from the American people. Yeah. All right. Um, Joe Kent, uh, running for Congress in Washington State, former Green Beret. Thanks for the insight. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.